Check this out, baby. First of all, I have to welcome all my new subscribers because I've been having a bunch of new subscribers and I think I know where they came from. The Hillary Snuff film that I put on my second channel. Um, another channel shared that and I really appreciate it. Other than that, I just want to say thank you to all my all my subscribers in general because I really need you guys to be honest. Like, like I have this gift and I try to share it with channels like this right here, for example, is the ending of Brenton Sawin's channel um, where he gets um, supposedly touched by a Bigfoot with red eyes in his tent. And I reached out to him a very long time ago, like before I even started my channel, I reached out to him and tried to tell him my testimony. And I tried to um, share all my supernatural experiences, which I have to update. But um, like my first video that I ever posted on here is like a, I was filming a bright star, and like after I replayed it, I see like a shadowy thing flying across the sky. But this right here, there's something creeping from behind the tree, and it relates to a video that I made a while back called Shape Shifter in the Woods, which I'm gonna show. And I'm going to show you guys the new stuff that I found in there. Like, I can't believe it. Like, like, and there's other videos from other people that I, there's things that hide behind trees similar to this. But these two specific ones are two videos that, that nobody else really saw this stuff. And if they did, like, uh, I'm not aware of it. But, um, the other video is this one right here on Jeff Friend's channel. And the name of the video, I believe it's called... Look what we found stashed. They found a stash. Look right there, you see that cat face? I don't know if that's pareidolia or something else. Because I know these things know how to hide in nature. Right here is a great alien looking thing. And I zoom into it. And somebody left a comment about a great alien. I didn't even know what they meant till now I'm starting to see what they were talking about. And right here is a Bigfoot face straight on. That's what I see. You see the sharp and teeth? This is the thing that I discovered new. Like this stuff that I just showed is new stuff that I've seen after going back to this video. Because it relates to the new video right I made. Right behind that tree up there, that's where you, I'll show you guys the anomaly. Sorry, I got cut right off. Right there, on that, behind that, on the top right. There was an anomaly and then there was a glitch. You guys heard about anomaly? Glitch right now. Once again, anomaly. Glitch. Okay, I'm gonna let it play from the beginning once again. Some people see a gray alien. I see like a shapeshifter and a two things. I don't know, but it looks like two things to me. Okay, I took some screenshots. And these are some close-ups so you guys can see what I'm talking about. See behind that tree right there. It kind of looks transparent. And some people commented that they saw like a gray alien. I kind of saw like a Bigfoot face. <laughs> and then um, I know what they meant. Some, something else. Watch. Okay, here's the other screenshot that I took. See on the Green right. Shot. Kind of looks like a face. Sorry about my accent. With the comb <laughs> hair. And then on the left side, you, that's not, that's like a tentacle. If you look at, if you go to the original video, I'll put a link to it. And you guys will see it. There's a comment right there and I put the time where it happens and everything. And you guys will see um, that that thing it moves. You can see it on this video too, but probably not as clear. Watch. Okay, this is another screenshot. And you can see this thing moving, whatever it is. And the way it moves is not normal. Not normal. And I asked him if there was somebody else there with, with him. And he saw like, wow, I wouldn't even have noticed that. He's like, nah, there was nobody else with us. So, and the way the camera glitched, that's like 100%. That's, that's what gave something. it away to me. Not normal. <laughs> this is the last screenshot that I'm going to show. As you can see almost look like a shapeshifter because the way it moves and like that tentacle looking hand that's weird i recommend you guys to um look at the original video if you guys want to check this out because it's strange 
no doubt. I was learning this to edit to finalize at the, the time, video. so bear with me. Um, basically, you could see the anomaly better on the original video, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm going to leave the link. Talk to you guys later. This is going to be a bonus clip on the top center right, right there. there. You guys are seeing something like a monkey climbing. Yeah, it is a lot of... This is a, from a recent video where Jeff got hit with a rock and I see like a dog face. But there's a bunch of stuff here. I might have to do a video on that picture alone because there's, there's a lot of stuff I see and a lot of faces in that picture. And that little clip, video yeah, clip. Yeah, and yeah, other than that, I just wanted to share how slow-mo, like after like seeing all this stuff, like I put the video on slow-mo just to make sure what I was seeing was there. And I started seeing even more stuff once I put the camera on slow mo. Like if you see in that dark spot, you're gonna see something starting. To, you saw something kind of manifest in that dark spot. And I wanted to give a shout out to Elise Ross also. She's like a sister to me, to be honest. Cause like there's nobody I could relate to. Nobody in my family. Like they're all like they. It's like it's weird. Like we're not even family basically. But um. This wonderful, wonderful friend, I can say she's like family, because not even my family could relate to me when it comes to this kind of stuff. Like, I've been the only weirdo that that basically has to deal with the paranormal aspect of reality. And so I just want to say thank you, girl. Appreciate it. Right here, what I see is right on the stem of the tree. You guys could see, I see it clearly like some kind of draconian reptoid face and a finger. Though You could see the finger slightly move. And I might be missing on some things because like I've explained before on my video, like there's things that I see, but then there's things that subscribers see that I, I'm not able to see. Because these things are everywhere. The only reason that we don't see it is because we're not expecting them in my opinion. But um yeah like this is just like an intro to what you guys are gonna see in the future because elise has sent me a lot of new stuff go ahead and go to her channel if you want to see there's two videos that I, I haven't even touched on and there's a bunch of stuff that she sends me that's not even on her channel also which i'm gonna make a video about that asap and what more can i say man like it's a gift to be able to have someone, people like this. There has been others that said they're gonna share some stuff with me, and I probably need to go back and re-comment because I, I I don't see their stuff on their email, on my email. They're supposed to share some personal experiences, and um, that's what I want my channel to be too, like to get experiences that are not out there on YouTube. And um, be able to share with you guys. And even stuff that is out there on YouTube that nobody has been able to spot. Like I, sh I showed you guys earlier. Something that is not out there. That is on YouTube but nobody has pointed it out basically. Like this, that's what my channel is made for. And also Marissa, Marissa Nunez. Marissa Nunez. I want to thank you for sharing. She shared with me her testimony about basically going into a school where she felt she noticed that things were not as she thought they were going to be she thought she was going into a christian religious school and that's not what it turned out to be so that's after i get 1000 subscribers there's a couple of things that i'm gonna share with you guys like when i went into a condemned house that was creepy really creepy and dark in there like it seemed like it was nighttime inside of there that and I'm also want to share Marissa Nunez testimony like after getting 1,000 subscribers that's something that I have planned and um this stuff right here I could go on probably for days almost like Jeff friends channel you seen that video how I made a video about it and now that I went back to it like I saw a bunch of new stuff this is how I feel about this stuff like the more I look at it, the more stuff I find. And it takes time. It takes time, but it's something that, you know, that I enjoy. And it's a gift. 
a gear. And I can I can express how much, you know, how much I need you guys and how much I appreciate everybody contributing and share, you know, whatever you can relate cuz I know sharing is something that, you know, you do it when you relate or something. But if you can please share these videos especially with people that like paranormal stuff or anomalies or stuff that cuz this is legit. This stuff is legit 100% like we ain't adding nothing to it. And we haven't even enhanced the video. Like, there's people that enhance the video so they could bring out the anomalies even better. Like, we haven't even done that yet. We're just beginning to scratch the surface on what's even here. And it's just me alone. And I would like maybe someone that knows how to edit could probably retouch this stuff. And uh, share what they see in this stuff. That would be cool. Because I'm pretty sure I'm missing out on things that are on here. That uh, I don't see. And they might, they're might. definitely there. Like there's too much. Like there's some stuff that I think is pareidolia. And stuff that I don't, I'm not. I know it's not pareidolia. But I'm going to try to. Going closer into it is key. Like zooming into it. But when I do that, I also miss a lot of things that are around it. So it's kind of tricky because you zoom in and you focus on one thing, but you're missing out on a lot of things. But that's part of this, you know. This is part of the, the part of the game, learning. And you know, any questions, hit me up. Time. They are safe. As long as they are not discovered, that is their primary method of surviving. To keep us asleep, keep us selfish, keep us sedated. Peace.